Matthews. Matthews. Chapter 25. Verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he set upon the throne of his glory. Let's read that again. Matthew chapter 25, verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, who is that? Yahweh Shah. And all the and all the holy angels with him. Then shall he set sit upon the throne of his glory. Verse thirty two. And before him shall be gathered all nations. And he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goat. All right, let's read that again. Matthew, chapter twenty-five, verse thirty-two. And before him shall be gathered all nations. And he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goat. Right? And he shall set, and he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goat on his left. Right? Then shall the king say unto them, On the right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, and inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. I would like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Makakodash. The Wadi Yaba Shimei Shah for giving us the apostles and the elders of Great Moonstone who deserve the honors, rightfully so. And shalom to the Aki and pushing the word and sincerity and the truth for being faith based. Alright? And who has prepared us for what's to come? You know, through the spirit of Yaba Shah, he set up the shepherds, which is Great Moonstone. Yes, they're fighting for the, they're fighting for their own salvation. But they are meek men, and they are doing the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. God, He told them to eat the roll and go teach the people. All right? That's what they have done, and they have prepared us for what is to come. What is to come? Race wars, famine, concentration camps. All right? The mark of the beast was the RFID chip, which is all over the place right now. Okay? Uh, thermal nuclear fire. Two hundred million missiles preferably being shot at America. 200 million missiles. All right. Other missiles going to be shot in other parts of the earth. Whatever is left, we're going to destroy. Simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord is going to lift up the whole full elect, the 144,000 men and the one third men, women, and children to salvation onto the chariots, the chambers. And um, simultaneously, they're going to be shooting laser beams at the ungodly and the, and the wicked. And the rest of these nations that need to be zapped. All, right. all gonna be spiritual, all gonna be righteous. Alright. Yeah, that's that's what is to come. Uh I was going through the scriptures. I mean it's clear. The scriptures is if you a spiritual man, the, the scriptures is clear to you. You know? You being you be you being taught by the right men and they're not leading you astray. They telling you what it is, and they putting it out on the table for the whole full lack, the 144,000 men, men, women, men, women, and children of the one third, 
and they're going to get it. They're going to hear it, they're going to get it, they're going to run with it. All right? So, um, yeah, the Lord is a separatist. Listen, the only reason why the, the Negroes and Native Americans and the Hispanic tribes are jacked up right now is because we disobeyed. Right? And we didn't obey Yahweh Shemayal So he put us in the hands of the other nations. The scriptures is clear. It tells you exactly if we do the right thing, we're going to rule over these other nations. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1. If we do the wrong thing, we're going to be under subjection to these other nations. Deuteronomy, I do believe it's chapter chapter 28 verse 14 or 15. Salaki. Alright, let's see. Let's go into that. But it's something clear that you need to understand that no matter what, we are going back to on the power seat. All right? First chapter 15. Let's read that. Um, this is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse, verse 15. But it should come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power to do to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall overtake thee and that was, that's a curse to have these other nations on top of us you know being ruled by a bum ass nation it's a curse you know to uh to be subjection to be ugh. You know, um, the Book of Judges. Oh man, we went through, we went through numeral of nations being on top of us. Okay. So, hmm, we're up here. But the Habashim Elshan came back and saved us and put us back on top. Every time we went off, we went back on the bottom. He didn't do that for none of you other nations. The Lord only loves one nation. Okay? Alright, so, um, so you can say what you want, man. You could just, I mean, you know, these people out here, they just, they, listen, what, what proved that Yahweh Shemel has put us under subjection of nations? Oh, let's go back to Deuteronomy. Hold on. Let's go back to Deuteronomy. Hold on. Because the Lord put us right under our so-called, um, how you say, our twin brother, which is Esau. He put us under him. All right. Okay. Huh. Huh. Okay. It's I still can find the scripture. Okay. Let's start right here. I mean, this ain't the scripture I wanted. I want to see if I can find it. Hold on. But um, this is a scripture that proves it too. All right. It says uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse forty-three. The strangers that's with that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. And thou shalt come down very low. That's plain. Right? That's what happened. The, Moses was telling the children of Israel, which is unique with Hispanics and Native Americans. The most beautiful part is that, you know, I've been in this, you know, I'm, a, I'm, I'm of age. I'm not old, but, um, you know, I've been in this truth for, can't really put a number on it, but um, I'm still a baby. I'm still a novice in this. But uh, I've seen this truth has opened my eyes and I see how things is really is. You people, you so-called white people don't want us to be back on top. You know, you see, you know, when you're in the world of YouTube, 
if you pay attention to the right things, you start seeing things that makes things sen- make sense of how reality is. For example, you know, they put certain videos up, and, and it's a comedy. You know, it's, a, it's one guy, he was, a, he was a comedy, and he was like, oh, oh we don't put these people in slavery. In the past, can you imagine how the future's going to be? They're going to kick a mud hole in our ass. Yes, we're gonna. It's gonna be glorious. That that kicking, that kicking your ass is gonna be glorious. So you know, you don't want what's right to happen because y'all did so wrong. Y'all, y'all did so much wrong. Y'all, y'all, what's gonna happen? It's gonna be a right whooping. It's gonna be a righteous whooping. Y'all did it. Y'all, y'all did. Y'all served your purpose on us. We got, we got chastised by the Lord. We, he still love us. Of all the stuff he did that, that we did that um he put us all under these other nations, he still came back for us. That means you didn't count the stars in the galaxies. You didn't count how far the depths of the sea goes. It means you ain't gonna get it, Ashashua. Alright? So we very low, but we are rising up right now. You ain't gotta like it. It's a beautiful time right now to be alive. Alright. I um I'll just I had this these scriptures right here, but um I mean this the spirit I hate to ramble, but uh the spirit you know the spirit of Yabashim El Shah is is um is it's beautiful, man. For knowing for knowing what you did wrong. See what we did wrong, and what you have done wrong, you can get paid back for it. But we're gonna be on top of all the stuff we did wrong. See how much we shot. He still, he still only love us. Huh? Still only love us. Salakia, he still only love us. Through the spirit of Yahweh Shah. All right, we're going to read these scriptures again. All right, the Lord's a separatist, man. And he, he only have one holy people. All right? Mm, all right, it's a lot here. This is on um, Matthew chapter 25, verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory. When he come back, he's going to be beautiful. He's going to be his glory, his angels. There's so much stuff happening right now, y'all. You even must got the technology right now. Y'all see this shit. This, you, you know that stuff that I see flying around the sky that you, you can't, you, it's unknown to you? Y'all can't control that. That's how you know. When the Son of Man should come in his glory and all his holy angels and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. He's going to sit on the pond. He's going to sit on the throne, and you're going to worship him. That's what's going to happen. So who are you? Just pray about Shemel Shah. This is righteous. This is a righteous thing we do. We, we, we are not black people. I'm a shade of brown. And I got brothers with real, real light skin. Okay? I got some brothers who look like so-called um, white people. But they 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 my brothers. And before, and before his, and before him shall be gathered all nations. This is going to happen, because within these other nations is my brothers. Some look like so-called white men, some look like East Indians, um, Arabs, Africans. They look like these. They, that's why he got to gather all these nations together, because the wheat and the tear is is right in there. That's why he has to separate them. He got the angels just coming back to do this, All right? And before, and before him, shall it's a lock. Matthew chapter twenty-five, verse thirty-two. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as he as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goat. And it's still narrowed down to two: sheep and goat. All right? It's still narrowed down to two. Because you are the nations that are going to be on the left.
but the one even the kindreds that look like you, they're gonna be on the right. That's just dealing with the, the nation of Israel that's gonna be on the right. Y'all ain't making it over there. No nation is making it over there. Alright? And he should set the sheep on his right hand, but the goat on his left. Then then shall the king say unto them on the on his on his right hand, come and ye come ye ye bless for my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. So some uh, Alright, wait, hold on. Let's see what, what the other verse. Because the ones on the left ain't getting in. Because mm. yes. the one on the left, he, yes, he's going to. I have like I had the verse. I can't remember where it was at now. I, um,. Shabbat Shem is not you. You you're not making it into the kingdom. ones on the left is not making it into the kingdom. He's only giving the ones on the right. Let's read that verse again. Salak, I, I lost the other verse. It was another verse I had. Alright. This is for, this is um I'll just start at thirty three again. This is Matthew chapter thirty, twenty five verse thirty three. And he shall set and he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goat on his left. You goats on the left, you ain't getting it. Alright? All right, then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you. Negroes, Hispanics, and African Americans. All right, for the father, for the for father, for of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. All right. Okay, that's ours, man. Ain't nobody giving nothing to you, bum ass. You, this is all yours right now. This shit's decaying. We want out of this shit hole. Salakia. So right. And uh, Lord, when I was edifying, you know, didn't mean to ramble. I lost the verse. Salakia so for that, but um. I don't have time to show these idiots faces because uh, it's all about the scriptures and the word and what's righteous. Lord, when else other find to the whole full leg, all prayers and honor, glory go to you. How about Shemel Shah? By Hashem, the cock with Dash, the Wadi Abba Shemel Shah, forgiving us the apostles and the elders of great millstone who deserve their honors, rightfully so. Shalom.